Hi, this is Frank again. Just wanted to share a couple experiences with you. Uh, last week we were out, and just a friendly reminder that when you're entering the nozzle into the, the pipe opening, that you kind of be observant and look around. So where we're going with this is, uh, we were going into an obstructed pipe. We got a hundred foot up into the pipe and the nozzle had stopped pulling up the pipe to scour the walls. And we come in and look down the manhole and what did we see? We seen all mud. When that mud appears, we instantly shut off the truck. The reason we shut the truck off is because we knew we had went through a fracture in the pipe or an offset joint that was cracked, but we knew we were out of the pipe at that time. We shut the unit off, and of course, the nozzle was already stuck. So one of our helpful tips are, and it seems to work for me, is just turn the truck off, let it sit for a few minutes. Um, most generally in this application, we had to let it sit like 15 minutes. Um, we let it sit the 15 minutes. Uh, we turned the truck back on. We left the water off and we was able to pull the nozzle out. So another helpful hint is that uh, when you're jetting, just a friendly reminder, if you're able to always open the manhole upstream to help pull the air into the manhole, and that does help with moving the air back, which does help prevent blowing toilets, which is just air and water backlash or back flowing through the, the lateral lines. Thank you for your time. If you have any additional questions, please call us at Stone Age Tools. Thank you.